आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द एसे ऑन सेइंग प्लीज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट द यंग लिफ्ट मैन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू से द एसे सेज if you don't like the face of anyone if you don't like the tone of the voice of anyone or if you don't like the behavior of anyone it does not mean that you will box his ears it does not mean that you will torture him if it happens the street of the city will be full of blood so please be polite be courteous don't be aggressive don't try to humiliate other people now the essayist is telling is telling us an incident from a drama written by seridan Seridan was a dramatist of 18th century. He wrote a drama, The Rivals. Sir Anthony Absolute is a character in this drama. He is a very rough and tough man. He is an obstinate and impudent person. He is a very hard taskmaster. he orders his sons and daughters and asks them to obey him at any cost they cannot dare to disobey him his son captain absolute wants to marry his sweetheart lydia but sir anthony absolute does not like this he does not like the sweet heart of his son so he does not give the permission to marry lydia one day he humiliates his son the son gets furious he goes somewhere and he humiliates fag his employee fag becomes angry and he goes down the stairs and he humiliates the page boy so it is a chain reaction the writer says bad manners are infectious if you behave wrongly if you behave in a very aggressive way the other person will react similarly newton says to an every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so if you behave badly if you misbehave the other person will react in the same way again the essayist goes on explaining that that passenger who has been thrown out of the lift might have been disgraced by his employer it is possible that when he goes to the office his employer does not say good morning to him he takes it in and the employer perhaps has been humiliated by his wife the employer is a hand packed husband his wife has been disgraced by the cook and the cook has been humiliated by the housemaid again it is a chain reaction one person humiliated another another humiliated the third one the third person has used the fourth one and it goes on so again 
the writer says it's a chain reaction one person humiliates another and the process continues so again he emphasizes the point bad manners are infectious so he is asking the reader politely please when you talk to others when you are in conversation with other people please use the word please and thank you these words please and thank you are little courtesies if you use them these words will pay you a lot someone said humorously smile or keep smiling always it costs nothing but it pays a lot and it improves your face value so keep smiling keep using such pretty words please and thank you next after giving an example of a lift man of a lift man the writer is telling us about a polite conductor the writer is traveling in a bus one day he has not even a single penny in his pocket he thinks that it is difficult for him to reach his destination he goes to the conductor and says to him directly i don't have any paisa i don't have any money so i will not be able to travel in this world in this bus i am going to get down the conductor says to him politely don't bother sir i'll pay for you take the ticket and complete your journey the writer is very much impressed he is very glad to see the civil and polite behavior of the conductor he says to him how will i repay you how will i refund your money again the conductor says unassumingly don't bother sir some day you will come to this work some day you will come to this bus and on that day you pay me the problem is over and the writer completes his, his journey next the writer speaks of the underground railway company the underground railway company insists on a certain standard of civility in its servants the employees of this company are always courteous have always been good behaviored they speak to the people politely they respect the passengers and they behave in a very amiable way so politeness civility courtesy is a kind of social service if you behave politely it means you are giving happiness to the man you are transferring some sort of ecstasy to the man some sort of pleasure to the man the man goes to his house and he behaves very happily with his wife so good manners are also infectious if you please someone he will he will please other people and the society will be full of pleasure and rapture that conductor he helps the blind man to cr to cross the road he helps other passenger in other ways so he is always helpful to help other people 
it has become his habit it is absorbed in his nature so he is polite he is civil by nature he has some inborn qualities he influences others he impresses others again the writer the essayist is giving a line from the poetry of kids nothing clears up my spirits like a fine day kids is a romantic poet he is a poet of beauty he is a sensuous poet for him a thing of beauty is a joy for ever just remember the lines of kids kids a thing of beauty is a joy for ever so courtesy civility good manners are things of beauty and these things of beauty will provide you joys for ever so a fine gentleman and a fine weather are similar a sunny day will give you pleasure a gentleman always gives you pleasure next the poet is giving some sort of moral lesson from the life of wordsworth wordsworth is also a great romantic poet he is a poet of nature and humanity he wrote about common people in the language of common people common people have become the heroes and the heroines of his poems a solitary reaper is the heroine of his poem a leech gatherer is the hero of his poem so he learns words worth learns a lot he learns deep moral lessons he learns profound philosophy from the lives of solitary reaper and leech gatherers the essayist says a great poet like wordsworth can receive so many lessons from common people why not we we should try to follow the footsteps of wordsworth you should try to be in contact with the common people and we should learn their good qualities everybody has some uniqueness everybody has some special qualities some special features so go with him travel with him and try to imbibe his good qualities next after telling us about kids and wordsworth the essayist tells of the first world war when he was writing the first world war was taking place you read the poem of t.s eliot the wasteland this poem has a graphic description of the first world war during the first world war life had gone sterile the perpetuation and multiplication of life had come to a stop and fulfillment has degenerated into disgust it was the period of the break up of civilization it was the period of the crack up of culture and in this atmosphere the essayist gives a deep philosophy wars or no wars life is always beautiful life is always hilarious 
द वॉर्स मस्ट नॉट ब्रेक युअर बोल्डनेस मस्ट नॉट ब्रेक युअर डिटर्मिनेशन युअर क्वालिटी टू बी हैप्पी सो डोंट लूज युअर हैप्पीनेस डोंट लूज युअर प्लेजर एंड ज्युबिलेशन वेन एडवर्सिटीज हैमर यू वेन ट्रॉबल्स डिस्टर्ब यू सो इवन ड्यूरिंग द वॉर be peaceful enjoy the harmony of life enjoy the sweets of life next he speaks of the police department and the law department the presence of the police department simply proves that the human beings are not the angels the angels live in heavens they live in paradise it means love and harmony peace and tranquility prevail in the paradise but they don't prevail on earth that's why there is the police department or the law department it's a hammer on the human civilization it's a comment on the culture of human beings if you are extremely civilized if you are if we are completely cultured there will be no need of the police department or the military department and at last the essayist is telling us about lord chesterfield lord chesterfield was a british statesman he was a diplomat he was a man of letters and he was an acclaimed wit of the 18th century one day he was traveling on the road he was walking on the road the road was full of mud and water there was no place to walk on the, on the road so he went beside the wall and he started walking touching the wall from next side one man was coming Lord Chesterfield thought that the man coming from opposite side might leave the place for him but the man came to Lord Chesterfield and he told Lord Chesterfield I don't leave the way for a scoundrel his comment was very negative but Lord Chesterfield took it lightly he did not react he simply said if you don't leave the way for a scoundrel but i do and after speaking these words i do he did not speak even a single word so he reacted very politely it means even amid adverse circumstances his reactions were polite his reactions were civilized so from this essay we learn the importance of good manners we learn the value of politeness we learn the value of civility we learn the value of culture and civilization thank you very much